Hello everyone, it is ZigZag here, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. In today's video, we're going back to an old classic, a video I released almost two years ago where I rated all these bollards on a tier list. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing once again today. Let's just get straight to rating here. So the criteria I'm using is strictly aesthetic. It's how much I like it, how much it like blends in with the landscape and all that bit. If it's practical, I don't care. If it's actually doing its job of keeping cars off the side of the road, I don't care. I'm just looking at how the bollards look. A bit of an interesting one for sure, but let's get straight into it. I'm going to start opposite in alphabetical order here and go with the United Kingdom bollard. You know, I must say the United Kingdom bollard has kind of grown on me over the years. I do kind of like it these days, especially because you also see it in Indonesia. So it's, it's always a pleasant sight to see when you're over there. Um, but uh, I think aesthetically speaking, it's kind of a B tier bollard. You know, it is not bad. It's relatively aesthetically pleasing. I think the uh, like reflector is kind of huge, which is probably practical, but not my favorite in terms of the way it looks. But yeah, I could say it's a really solid looking bollard. Don't mind it at all. Next one here is Ukraine. Ukraine is uh, kind of a very plain looking bollard. They do have more interesting ones, but this one is kind of more unique than the rest. And so I would say a uh, Ukrainian one probably kind of down near the bottom here. I would say it's a C tier. It's nothing special. It's definitely, it's definitely quite clean looking, but I think it'd look better if the black wrapped all the way around, which normally it doesn't. So I think that takes away some points in my books. Okay, next one here is the Turkish bollard, which is kind of like the Australian bollard's little cousin. So I, I think it looks clean, I think it looks fine, but it's certainly not anything too special. I would say I like it better than the Ukrainian one, but only just. It's probably just a C-tier bollard in my opinion. Next one here is the Thai bollard. Thai bollard is interesting, like it's certainly a, a, a very generic design, but that can actually work in its favor because I feel like it blends in with the surroundings pretty nicely. It's not an eyesore, that's certainly true. Um, so I feel like I feel like Thai bollard, bollard is definitely like a B-tier bollard. I've really got no complaints with it. It just doesn't really have too much going on for it. So yeah, I'd say it's like just below the British. Ballad. Next one here is a real certified hood classic. We have the South Korean Ballad, which is extremely rare to see in game, but I just really like the way it looks. So Korean Ballad is probably an A or an S tier for me. I can't remember what I put it last time, but uh, I think it's, hmm, I could actually see putting an S tier as like a viable option. I'm going to put a high A for now, um, but yeah, it's just looked really clean. It's got like an interesting aesthetic to it. Um, again, I would prefer it if the black wrapped around, so that's probably, it's it's like an upgraded version of the uh, the Ukrainian Ballad in a way, um, but definitely like the motifs on it, and uh, yeah, that's where I'm going to put it in high A. Okay, next one here is Poland, and if you guys watched my Poland vlog from when I was over there a few months ago, which you can find on the channel if you go looking for it, then you would know that the Poland Ballad is one of my very favorites. And I actually traveled a fair distance in the middle of the night to see a Polish Ballad, or at least to go and get a photo with one, because I had not actually gotten a photo with one the whole time I was there, and I was trying to collect all the Ballads I was with in Europe. So obviously, Poland Ballad is an S tier. Now when you look at it, it's just a normal like German Ballad, except it has the red uh, reflector instead of black, but it just looks so much better to me. And also I like the numbers as well. I've always been a fan of that. So those factors combine to make that one of my favorites for sure. Okay, next one here is Peru. I mean, Peru has a bunch of different bollards. This one is definitely an interesting one. So we've got yellow always going on on the Peruvian ones. That makes them pretty unique in my opinion. Like almost like kind of feels like a little character or something like that. But I don't know. I just really enjoy the look of it. I think I could consider putting it in A tier or high B. I think I'm going to go high B for the moment but definitely enjoy that bollard. Okay, next one here is the uh, Norwegian bollard. Norwegian bollard, I've never been the biggest fan of, I must admit. So it's it's kind of got that problem where the black doesn't go all the way to the edge. You guys know from my uh, point of view, I don't really like the way that looks oftentimes. Um, Shape-wise, I do enjoy it though. Um, but yeah, it's just not its just not my favorite bollard. I'm gonna put it in C tier. Um, it actually might be better than Turkish bollard, I think, but yeah, definitely definitely not B in my opinion. Next one here is the New Zealand bollard. Now, I don't wanna be too biased, but I think I, think I marginally prefer the Australian bollard. That's, that's actually really difficult. I think they're very even. Um, they're best, both better than the Turkish bollard, in my opinion. Uh, so I will put them B tier. Um, and uh, New Zealand bollards, yeah, I feel like I feel like B tier is definitely fair for the New Zealand bollard. Maybe above the uh, the Thai, or maybe even above the UK bollard. But yeah, I feel like that's about the right spot for the New Zealand ones. Definitely a cool bollard, but uh, not my favorite, that's for sure as well. Next one here, we have that Montenegro slash 
Austria slash Slovenia bollard, and I've always liked this one. The black top is clean, the red reflector, it's kind of like a better version of the Australian bollard, in my opinion. Um, so that's a bit of preemption for you guys, but I think I would put the Montenegrin bollard, yeah, pretty high B tier here. Um, it's definitely a nice bollard, clean look, um, no complaints with it really. It's just, it's just a, it's just a classic look. If honestly, I would be happier if all the European bollards followed this kind of structure, because it just looks a little bit cleaner than like the standard European bollard, for example. Okay, next one here we have the bowling pin, which is of course the uh, Mongolian bollard, which you actually do see fairly commonly over there. And uh, the Mongolian bollard, what do I think of it? It is, it's kind of huge compared to most bollards, and it is very chunky, but overall it kind of fits the country, I feel like. I kind of feel like, uh, you know, you have these long stretches with flatness and you might get tired on the road, and I just feel like the Mongolian bollards, you know, they're iconic, they're nice, they're definitely not a bad ball at all. I, I, I worry about cluttering the B tier here, so I, I actually feel like, I actually feel like Montenegro might move up and this also could be an A tier bollard. Is that right? Hmm. I actually don't think I like it as much as Peru, so I'll have to put it there for now, but I uh, could see these ones being bumped up, uh, potentially. Okay, next one's the Mexican bollard, which always has a black base. I've always liked the Mexican bollard. One of the shortest bollards, but also, like, packs its punch in terms of aesthetics. It's it's round, which I really enjoy, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's just always, like, a... It's just perfectly proportioned, in my opinion. So, um, that being said, it's not the most interesting. It is just black and white, so... I feel like, yeah, low A tier is pretty fair for the Mexican bollard. I've always been a fan. Okay, next one here, we have the Lesotho bollard. Another one where I just really like the form of it and another black base. So you can tell I kind of like that, that aesthetic, either the black top or the black base tends to uh, suit me quite nicely. And uh, Lesotho bollard, I kind of like very similarly to the way I like the Mexican bollard. I could even see it going slightly above, but yeah, I mean, they're kind of like interchangeable for me. Um, so yeah, that's how I'd go for that. Next one here, we have the Latvian bollard, which is kind of the first like standard European bollard we have on the list. This one's always thin, so they never they never make them thick in Latvia. And uh, I do like the way it looks. The orange is definitely clean. I kind of prefer it to the white reflector, so definitely have no complaints there. It's better than a C tier, um, but I would probably just put it like next to UK and New Zealand there. Next one, here's the Japan bollard. I must say, these standalone Japan bollards with the uh, kind of round reflector at the top, I've never been a huge fan. I I don't really like the way they look. They're kind of just a bit disproportionate, like a bit too top heavy. So yeah, I feel like I feel like Japan goes around here. Japan is like a country that's full of such beautiful things and it's a very aesthetically pleasing country. But for me, the bollards just, uh, they don't really do it for me. So that is uh, kind of interesting. Just realized someone gave me a poo rating. That's, that's kind of sad, isn't it, guys? <laughs> Clearly the people a year ago weren't appreciating this uh, epic bollard tier list, but that's okay. Uh, next one here, we're moving on to like the Albanian, San Marino, and Italian bollard. And this might be my most controversial take, I think, but I am not a fan of the Italian bollard, really. It's just, uh, it's got the same problem as the UK, except the UK is just a better version of the Italian bollard, in my opinion. It's too top heavy, the reflector's too big, and I don't know. It just looks kind of out of place compared to a lot of the other European ones. So I would probably take it C here, um, kind of lower C. I could even take it D. I could even take it D. I'm just trying to work out whether there's anything here that actually warrants a D. Um, I, I I don't know, like, it's just not that good for me. Okay, next one here we have the Irish bowler. Definitely rare. Um, aesthetically speaking, I like the fact that it fits the Irish green theme. That's pretty cool. Um, the... It is kind of like a bit plasticky looking, a bit, a bit a bit gimmicky, especially because you don't really see it that often around the country. So I'm kind of thinking the Irish bollard, mm, you know what? I could see it being high C, low B. I think low B is actually where I'd, where I'd put it at the moment, but definitely not the worst. Next up here, we have the Icelandic bollard. One of my least favorite bollards, if I'm honest. So what I can say about the Icelandic bollard, it is yellow, which is unique and pretty cool. I don't really love the shape. I don't really love the gray on yellow color combination. It's a bit strange to me. Um, would be better if it was just like a white reflector, but it is kind of gray in, I think at least. Um, and uh, certainly on this photo, not the most attractive one. So I can't remember where I put it last time. I might've put it D, but I feel like, I feel like D is actually kind of, like aesthetically speaking, I think the Ukrainian one is better. I think marginally that the, uh, the Italian one is better as well. So. That's where I have to go for that, but uh, yeah, let's move on here to uh, Hungary, which is another bollard, sorry Hungarian viewers, that I don't really love. It, it's kind of just the standard European one, except the black section is much further down, it's a bit taller. So the tallness is cool, 
but I don't really like the big white section that you get at the top. It's kind of it's kind of strange, I must say. Um, so I I think it's just kind of a downgrade from the standard European ballad. I would say, you know, somewhere around here, it might be better than the Turkish ballad, but definitely like C tier, not my favorite at all. Next one here, we have one of my favorites, which is the French ballad. The French ballad is just like the even though it's big. It's the definition of a clean ballad. Like it fits the French landscape so well. And I got a bit clown for saying this last time, but it is kind of a big ballad, which I do like. So clip that out of context, if you will, but I, I kind of just like the way it looks. It's it's just a clean and classic design. I would say maybe that I would have the uh, red strip a bit further up if I was making the perfect ballad, but it's definitely, it's so iconic and so good that uh, I have to put it in the S tier below. Poland, mind you. I still prefer the Polish ballad, but uh, you can see I, red is my favorite color. So it does make sense that I've got those two at the top. And I'll see on the next one here, which is the Pharaoh ballad, the cutest ballad on this list, without a doubt. If you can see this one's quite small. Yeah, it's literally like a foot or two tall, um, a very tiny ballad and aesthetically pleasing, I would say. Um, it also kind of has that similar kind of cute character look as the uh, as the Peruvian ballad. But this one I do prefer. Um, and I think, I think I would put it, uh, maybe even next to the, uh, Montenegrin and the, um, Mexican ones. I think I'll put it right there, but definitely deserves A tier there. Um, and one of the most novel, uh, and cute bollards for sure. Never thought I'd say that, but there you go. Our uh, next one here is the Estonian bollard. Estonian bollards are round, so a bit different to the, uh, flat, uh, Latvian ones. And Estonian ones, I definitely do enjoy as well. I definitely think I prefer them to the Latvian ones, which is something. Um, uh, but not too much. So I think I'll just put them above, uh, Mongolia here and call it a day. Uh, definitely a decent ballad. Nothing too special though. Next one here is the Ecuadorian ballad. Definitely a unique one with the double reflectors here. Um, very similar to the uh, M M Malaysian one, which I didn't include when I originally made this. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's not my favorite ballad. Like it is just a bit strange looking. It would probably be a very clean one if they just got rid of the second uh, thing here. And I know Ecuador has a number of ballads, but as for me, I, 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 I can't say I hate it. I can't say I hate it. Um, but I couldn't put it very high either. I think it's like a high C just because it, it's a bit uncanny. You know, the other ones all feel like they have got an eye. Whereas this guy's got like two eyes in, in, in a strange way, if you know what I mean. I don't know. The language of all, it's interesting, but I, I, don't, I don't really think I love it that much. Next one here also kind of has a double reflector. Definitely better. Uh, than the Ecuadorian ballad. So I'm thinking this one is probably a low B tier for me, the uh, the Danish ballad. Um, it is one of those bigger ones, which I do like, but I don't know, like it's just, you know, it's just not that cool. Uh, I think it would be cooler if they kind of like changed up the angles here a bit. This like kind of lower angle could be like slanted like the top one. Um, and then you could do the same with the white box. I feel like that would look kind of cool. But as it stands, I don't really love it that much. So yeah, low B is fine there. Okay, next one's the Czechoslovak bollard, which which I do like. This is the double reflector that's done a bit more classily. Um, it is like not that special either though. It's kind of just very standard. It's a bit shorter than normal uh, bollards. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I could just say it's like probably just below the Estonian one here. Pretty, pretty similar tier in my opinion. Okay, next one here is the Alberta bollard. Obviously Canada has a whole bunch of different bollards, but the Alberta one is the most ubiquitous um, in terms of uh, inside the province. And uh, yeah, I gotta say uh, Canadian bollard, the uh, the Alberta one, I definitely don't mind it, but it's also not that special. It's kind of tiny, but it is like, it does kind of fit the landscape in that way. And uh, it is the most iconic North American bollard apart from the Mexican one. So yeah, I feel like, I feel like high C kind of low B is probably where I'm feeling for this one. I think, I feel like it could go top of C tier there. Okay, next one here is the Cambodian ballad. Actually, Asia um, doesn't have too many ballads, but when they do have them, they do well. Like we have, we have the Korean one up here. We did have Japan, which I didn't like as much, but 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 Cambodia goes up. So, I think in terms of Cambodia, that I would put it. Hmm, I think I would put it in the A tier here. I think I put it in A tier last time as well. And I feel like it's kind of sitting here. It's definitely a cool ballad. It's like nice and shiny and it just kind of has a unique look about it. I don't know, if, in case you haven't noticed, I like these like square and solid ones, similar to like the Lesotho kind of style. I feel like they should, more countries should do those ones, but yeah, that's that's kind of what I feel about those. Actually more like a bollard, like a lot of these kind of posts that we, we call bollards aren't really bollards, strictly speaking. Like it'd be hard to call like the thin um, ones, like the Turkish one or the uh, Latvian one, really bollards, they, they're just kind of posts really. But anyway, next one here, we have an iconic variant of the ballad, which is 
more like a real bollard, really, and that is the Bhutanese bollard. The Bhutanese bollard, these big rocks that they have on the cinder blocks, rather, that they have on the side of the road, and iconic as they are, you know what? I'm gonna say, I do really like these. Um, like, they, they, they aren't conventional which we must say, they're not really like fit in the mold that we have inside this video so far, but they're, they really look good on the side of the road in my opinion. So I don't know where I put them last time, but I, I have the sudden inspiration to put them in A tier here because it's just so iconic for the country, but also it makes the highway look better. And, and especially in a big mountainous country, they're probably actually relatively, you know, like useful and all that bit, but I said I wouldn't count that, but you know, you know, for Bhutan, we can, we can do a favor. So I think Bhutan, yeah, I feel like I could do this and I feel like I'm actually going to move down Pharaohs because I don't think I like it as much as uh, Lesotho. But okay, next one here, we have the uh, Belgian bullet, which I actually think is pretty clean. It's just the Australian blood, but with a yellow reflector and I like yellow reflectors overall so I think uh, with the Belgian Ballard I would take it pretty high B. I prefer it to Estonia I think and uh, I'm actually going to move up uh, Mongolia as well. Okay and then we have Australia and Australia and New Zealand I said are pretty even. I'm going to stand by that. Definitely better than the Turkish variant. It's just kind of like bigger and uh, kind of more proud looking um, and uh, better proportioned I would say. So yeah my, I may actually just take it below New Zealand here. And then finally we have Argentina, which I'm really not sure why I included at the time. I'm pretty sure like on the old GeoTip site, they said this was the bot line for Argentina. So I just kind of ran with it. Um, but uh, do we want to go D here? I feel like I feel like as useful as, of a clue that, as this is. I mean, it does, it's kind of attached to a bollard. What I should have done was included Uruguay, which uh, which I would probably give a, maybe like even an A or a B. But yeah, I think we'll, we'll put this D. We might give it better than uh, Iceland, but that is going to be it for the list. So now I'm interested to see how I compared with myself a year and a half ago. Okay, and there I am with my old longer hair. And uh, I would say this is a pretty interesting result. So Cambodia was actually in the S tier instead of France. Then I did a very similar uh, kind of A tier here. Peru was promoted here, but um, I actually went lower with uh, Montenegro, which I which I definitely agree with uh, putting it higher these days. Where did I put Australia? I put New Australia and New Zealand, very similar location actually. Very similar locations all around, I would say. Thailand was another one that went a little bit better this time. And then Argentina, I probably would say it's more of a D tier. I don't really know why I put it in the C. Um, but then we had a kind of a, a bit, bit more busy uh, D tier here where we had um, Iceland at the bottom, yes. And then we had Japan and Ukraine. I actually think Ukraine is solidly C, but actually kind of thinking about it now, I, I, I do prefer uh, Ukraine to Japan. So I've got to put it like that. And uh, yeah, that is the comparison here. Also got to give a shout out to Lennart Datema here who commented one of my favorite comments, I think ever on the whole channel. <laughs> Maybe you guys can relate right now as you're watching this video. But guys, that is going to be about it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed kind of my analysis, aesthetic analysis. Um, I'm sure many of you guys will agree and disagree. I'll have the link to this in the description as always, so you can test it out for yourself and make your own video. Do it, guys. I don't care. That'll be, that'll be great. Be interested to see some of you guys' opinions. Why not? Um, but yeah, guys, that is going to be about it for the video. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end, and I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time. Goodbye.